Friends, before we proceed, one quick request. Please comment and tell me which city you are from and which app do you currently use for payments and stock purchases so that I can make relevant videos for you. Also, do consider subscribing to my channel. I will keep making interesting videos for you. Hi friends, if you are using Zerodha Kite app for your stock investments and trading, how do you invest or deposit funds in your Zerodha account? So we will see in this video all the different ways in which you can deposit money in your Zerodha account to buy stocks or other instruments which you want to buy like mutual funds. If you do not have the Zerodha app, I will leave a link for you in description and comments below which will help you get started. To deposit money in your Zerodha account which can be used for equity, mutual funds and other segments, you have to first go to the account tab which you can see down here. In the account tab, you will see an option called funds. We would click that and you will notice what is the current balance. So my current balance is a little over 30,000 rupees. I can use the add funds option to add funds to my account. Now when I add funds over here, you will see that I have two different bank accounts which are added to my account. So I'll have to use either of these to fund my account. If you want to add another bank or if you want to change or remove any of these banks, there is a way to do that uh, as well. And I will make videos for these and leave the link for you in description again. Anyway, here what we need to do is enter the amount we want to deposit and then select what is the method of deposit. So I'm going to do a small test amount of 10,444 as deposit. I am choosing my first bank over here, the primary bank, which is apparently Kotak here. And I'm going to choose this bank account. So I have selected it by clicking this radio button here. And now I can go with generic UPI. I could use Google Pay, which may be installed already on my device. So it's easy to do that. I could use net banking as well. Do remember UPI deposits are free, but net banking is charged. So if I select net banking, which I use for larger amounts, you will notice over here that they're saying net banking will be charged rupees nine plus GST for deposit. However, UPI is free. So I will go back and do this deposit using UPI, but net banking is equally easy. So I'll select the UPI option. Oddly, the UPI and Google Pay buttons are not working for me today, but there is a simple way of doing that. I'll select net banking here on the screen. I've entered the amount, the segment for which I'm to deposit the funds is equity derivatives or currency. If you have commodities or any other account, you could select that segment specifically. Now I've selected my bank account required. And over here, instead of net banking, I will simply choose UPI to make this a UPI transfer. Now, when choosing UPI, I need to enter my UPI ID over here and click continue on my UPI app, which happens to be phone pay in this case. I'm now seeing a notification to go ahead with this deposit and I have around 10 minutes to complete this deposit, though it should only take a few seconds. I'll give you a screenshot of the request that I am seeing so that you could visualize that as well. However, I'm doing this transaction on another phone, which has my UPI app installed. So I have approved the transfer on my UPI app. The amount has been debited from my bank. In case this page does not refresh on its own, we can click this refresh button for Zerodha to fetch the status. You can see over here, within a minute, I was able to make a deposit of 10,444. My general rule is for up to amounts, for amounts up to rupees, 25,000, I use UPI. However, for larger amounts, I use net banking. So that is how I do deposits to my Zerodha account. So you will see over here, the margin available has increased by 10,444 over here. So this is how you deposit funds to your Zerodha account. You can see available cash here. Now, if I go and try and do any transactions, you will see my available margin over here is accordingly updated. If you have any questions about how to use Zerodha, please do ask me in comments below. It would really help.